All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 43 of On Shape. Now, if you're following along with me in the series so far, you should be at a point where your box is built and it will turn the crankshaft. And that's pretty much all we've gotten so far. The next thing we're going to be doing now is, oh, we also have our cams made. So before we can put our cams in here, what we're going to be doing is we're making our follower rods, our collars, and our foot pedals. Now I'm making two types of follower rods, and as I'm making them, explaining them why I'm doing that, but this is foreshadowing into assemblies, and it's not kind of some of the constraints you have with Onshape. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create a new part studio. So the part studio, let's go ahead and move this on over, and I'll rename this, or should we call it a follower parts. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on sketch and we're going to do this top plane right here, hit view normal 2, and we're going to do is we're going to create two circles. Now your follower rods are going to be different than the ones I'm providing. Your links are going to have to look differently, but the overall structure and sequence of what you do is going to be very similar. So I'm going to make two follower rods. You might have to make more based upon if your follower rods need to be a different length. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, we, you could do a little bit of parametric constraints there, but I find it to be um, a little bit burdensome because you're not making very many different parts. You're only making four or five different follower rods. So kind of make them as you need. Um, but we do need two types of follower rods. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I forgot to even dimension that sketch. Let's get in there. So focused on what we're gonna do, didn't even do this part right. Now, our follow rods are going to have a diameter of 3 16 of an inch because we're going to be using those axles again still. Uh, if you're going to be using, uh, for example, square, of course you're going to make your holes to be a square hole. Okay, and then let's go ahead and extrude both of these on out and I'm going to do this to a distance of, let's do 4 inches. Okay. Now, one of my follower rods, I'm actually going to, uh, we're going to chamfer this and this bottom edge here. And that bottom edge is going to have a chamfer of uh, 3 16 divided by 2, so that's going to be 3 30 seconds. And what that should do for me is it creates a fine point here. And that's what we need, so we need a point. So if you're using a different diameter for your hole, you need it to come down to a point. All right, and then I'm going to do it again for this round, uh, the other one, except it's going to be a filleted edge, and we're going to do the same thing. That's going to be 2, 3, 30 seconds. Okay, hit the green check mark, and now we're good. So we got one follower rod that's a point, one that comes to a nice rounded edge. So depending upon what cam we're going to be using, it depends on what kind of follower rod we're going to use. Uh, and this could be very well a dated practice. Um, uh, hopefully that at some point some teacher is going to uh, find the, I would say, a more correct way to do this, a more straightforward way, but this is the only way i found so far. Alright, I'm going to now go ahead and create my collar. Now my collar is going to go around my, our axles here, our follower rods. And so the inside of the collar is going to be, you know, 3 16 of an inch. And the outside is going to be Let's go ahead and make that um, a half inch. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, we don't need to do the same thing for the other one because we only need one type of collar. So I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this collar on up, make it a new, uh, and that, uh, let's just give it a half inch. Okay, so based upon what kind of, you know, collar you want to do, you can change those dimensions as you need. Uh, and the last thing I need to do is create my foot pedal. So I'm going to click on, uh, let's click on sketch again. Let's do this top plane, right click, hit view normal 2. And let's just do a rectangle that has a side value of a half inch. And then our top, our width is going to be, let's do a quarter inch. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and extrude this on up a very particular distance, um, and that's going to be 330 seconds, or whatever distance it is between this 
well, let's go ahead and finish this. Whatever distance is between this edge and to the very end point of your follower rod. So let's if we look at our pointed follower rod. The distance between this circle and this point is going to be three thirty seconds of an inch. And that's going to be because uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this as my foot, but we're going to constrain it to that circle right there rather than to the very end point. It'll make sense when we do assemblies, but we'll get there when we get there. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is if you want to make your follower uh, foot look a little pretty, you can go ahead and fill it this bottom side. You know, both edges of it can be filled to uh, whatever your uh, oh, 0 0.25. Whatever your uh, dimension is here, your height right now. So our height was half an inch. So if we do a radius of divided by two, um, you can get a fully smooth edge. Okay, we're going to hit the green check mark. Now, as far as it goes for me, this is really all I want. Um, you, your follower rods are going to be uh, pretty simple. Your collar is going to help hold everything in place. And then you have your foot pedal. You are welcome to make it a little more elaborate. Uh, but for the sake of this class, what I'm going to ask for you to do, uh, this is all you need to do. Other teachers, you're welcome to have on, kind of tack on whatever you want. Uh, but I digress. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, so we've made our follower rods. We've made a pointy one. We've made a rounded one. And we've made our collar. So let's go ahead and rename these parts as well. So part one is called follower, and I'm going to call it point because it's got a pointed end. And then we've got follower, and then rounded, and then let's do collar, and then follower foot. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now what we need to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and hide all these planes so parts look a little bit nicer and let's change some colors here. So these two parts right here are gonna be made out of uh, dowel rod, so it's gonna be a wood, so let's go ahead and edit the appearance there, and let's, let's choose a nice wood color, okay? And then these parts are probably gonna be 3D printed the same material or same color, uh, so let's go ahead and edit the appearance for these two parts, and let's just make them, what color boot do you have in the class? Let's do orange. Okay, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. If you need any questions, comments, concerns about how to make your followers um, or how to make your collars or your foot pedals, feel free to reach out to me however else you need. This is the way I'm going to use my foot pedals in my assembly. So uh, hopefully you'll stick on and I'll see how you use these in the assembly very specifically. You guys are awesome. Keep up with it. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Take care.